Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I created a nice wee sort of pink, you know, wee natural wee cheeky pink look. If you want to see how I did this look, keep on watching. Thank you for joining. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I just want to wish you all a happy new year and I thought I'd do a nice wee video for you to start the new year. So yeah, let's get started. So first, I am going to take my primer. I'm using the ELF uh, Poreless Face Primer and a couple of squirts. Now, the only thing with this one is it is very, like, greasy feeling, but it's a very good primer. So I would always just have a spare wipe and just wipe my hands clean because I just find everything slips through your hands. So next i'm going to use the next color cracking primer um in green so this is for like you know if you break out in red sometimes i find foundations and stuff i'd break out you know wee red touches so i just pop a bit of the back uh, a bit of this in the back of my hand and just we dot there and just rub it in it's good because i had a wee spot there and it's good for wee spots and stuff because just the you know, give them, hide them. So I really, just to be honest, put it everywhere because usually around the cheeks I get red, but um, you know, anything can happen. So you know, it's a primer as well. So, but I just like to use two primers. Um, bit on the nose, usually around the T zone, so the center of the face, and just make sure it's rubbed in. So, you know, as you can see, it can kind of help to reduce the redness. So next, I will be taking my MAC foundation in Studio Fix in NW20 and Kira Daly. She is a makeup artist in Belfast, so she's your only brush range. I will link her below. But I find this is a really good brush. It's called My Hero Brush, so it's fine foundation. So again, back of my hand, a couple of squirts, finger... You know, dab, dab, dab. Um, don't worry if you've got too little on because this is just like a base. So you just go in circular motions, you know, kind of dragging down a wee bit because this is just your kind of first layer, you know, just to make sure everything is covered. So could I have a beard, don't forget, bring it down, but I have a beard, try bring it into my beard. Just to give it that kind of, you know, because sometimes you can maybe see a different colour there to there. So just keep going in circle and don't forget I usually to go over my eyes just because just to make sure everywhere is you know got some texture so it's kind of your base. So down thin your nose and then I go for a couple more pumps and again the same thing just until you sort of build your desired intensity outcome of the foundation you want to use or the coverage sorry so again just go to circle motion so you can use a foundation brush or sometimes a beauty bender so when I sort of get this on I just take beauty bender wipe the, the back of it off I just kind of doubt because I find it pushes it in nicely because you don't want to be dragging because what happens then is you're dragging your foundation off um so yeah and don't forget your your ears as well because i have quite red ears so sometimes i stand it like a sore thumb but um not enough to be completely perfect to begin with so yeah um i'm happy with that so a lot of people would then go, you know, their highlight and do their face and then their eyes. As where I go straight into my eyes. So I'm going to do that. So next I am going to go to my eyebrows. So first I'm using the the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil because I find it's easy because you've got your brush in one end. And you know, it's like a wee crayon pencil on the other. So I'm using the shade 6 because I do have quite dark eyebrows. So what you want to do is kind of brush up. 
but across as well. Get your eyebrows a kind of shape that you know you want, and let that go. So you just screw it. It's, it's angled ish, but I kind of broke the top of it. So I start at the bottom and I sort of just you kind of want to trace. Um, down and above. Now brows can take a wee while, so um, I am just doing a wee quick brow. So I just keep on put oh, putting it on and brushing, just so it's set, or just so it gets keeps in a nice shape. Okay. Now don't worry when it comes to brows. Because you're going in with concealer after, so if they are a bit messy, the concealer will help to, um, to fix them up. So, we go to the other eyebrow now. Now, the thing I love about this pencil is you kind of have to go a wee bit hard, which is kind of good because sometimes if a product's too, like, you know, too much. Especially with eyebrows, you know, you end up with big, um, big slug brows. So I'm just roughly sketching out my brows. That, the, hopefully the, they're meant to be sort of sisters, not twins or cousins. Not, I don't know, but they're not meant to be a completely identical. But you obviously want them um, some shape. Now. The way people would do it is the sort of up the side of your nose is where the bow is meant to sort of start. Over the pupil of your eye, corner of the nose is your arch. And then obviously your nose, the corner of your eye is where you want them to sort of stop. You don't want them to be way down here somewhere, you know, looking lost. Um, so yeah, and I just sometimes just we finger and yeah that's him now so I just leave us aside just for now <clears throat> and I'm going to take the back slack cover up in shade NW20 so I find this a wee bit lighter than the foundation which is good because you kind of want your concealer to be a wee bit uh, lighter especially when it comes to highlighting so I take that and then I'll just take a wee sort of flat brush this is the Kira Daily one it's a nice wee flat, so I always use the back of my hand, um, just a wee bit. So what you do is you take this, sort of pat it off and just trace under your brow. And then kind of pull it down as well into your lid because what this is going to help to do is whenever you're coming to your eyeshadow, it sort of helps tell, make your pigments stand out that bit more. Okay, and then you want to go to the top as well. Just, uh, I mean, any sort of wee marks that maybe you haven't seen, or because sometimes it can be a wee bit hard. Uh, a wee bit on the lid, because today we're going to go sort of for a pinky look with a nice shimmery eye so don't be afraid to get in there with your finger and we will do the other eye so um with makeup you know you can never really rush it you know because that's where mistakes can happen so it's all about sort of patience is the key um, obviously within reasons, you know what I mean, you don't want to be spending half a day on it, but it's all down to what sort of look you want to go for, you know, um, simple looks maybe, a good R, you know, and the more you practice, the more you sort of practice, the better. So again, I'm with my finger. So yeah, that's the bright. I'm going so, to start my transition colour. So this is a Jeffree Star Beauty Colour Palette. And I'm going to go in the shade Courtney it's called. So a transition shade is, obviously you don't want, you know, you know, if you maybe especially with pinks and stuff, you're going from one extreme colour to the other, you know. So this sort of helps warm it up. 
So what you want to do is you want to put it just sort of above your crease, sort of under your brow, but leaving this wee bit up here because you're going to go back later and highlight that. So just in sort of swipe and mo mo uh, motions and um back and forth and just give them wee twirls as well. Just it just helps tell um means that color you know it helps to complement each other. So near to the corner. Don't worry if you make a wee mistake, um, because you will be going on Wicked Sailor again. And pick up some more. Again, um, sort of swipe a moment, so like a uh, window wiper. So it just helps till, you know, brighten everything up. And a transition colour, you want it sort of like a wee bit round your skin tone, so brown, you know, kind of like browns and stuff. Um, again, all down to what, um, sort of thing and it should it doesn't need it shouldn't be too dark because you don't want it to be boom you want it to be nice okay so the next one we are going to go in with star power which is a lovely bright pink and we are going to go in with this car daily brush which is a, a blending brush so small nice you know that you can be in control so just pick a wee bit up and you want to sort of go up above your crease just a wee bit um leaving a wee bit of that uh transition color now what you can do is get your shape kind of first swipe swipe and if you take a bit of satin spray spray your brush it picks up more pigment so if you really want to go for that intense look um then you wanna so yeah um then again uh, so you just just to the corner because we're gonna go to the bottom in a minute because we everything can be tidied up the weird thing about makeup is at the start it, you're kind of like what the flip am i doing but Trust me, eventually it does come, you know. Just takes a bit of tweaking, you know. As I say, room wasn't built in a day. So, again, get my rough shape. More satin spray. So, don't be afraid, you know. Um, with eyeshadow and stuff, you don't want to kind of go straight all guns blazing because that's where sometimes, you know, things happen. So, you want to sort of. Sort of, no, the only thing is fine is there we go. So, you kind of want to get your eyes even. So, you know, it will take a bit of time. Sometimes it takes you to come away from it, start your next color, and then go back in because you know it sort of dries down. So, that's the star part. <coughs> now, next, we are going to go in with now a liquid lip. So, this is a Jeffree Star. Um, masochist so the good thing about his liquid lips is they do go in you can use them on your eye I've tried them and I find them really good I use this wee brush wee real techniques brush it's a very fine sort of firm tip so I find it's very good for getting it in so I just put literally the tiniest bit on the back of my hand first because you want to trace out the shape that you desire so I'm going to because this is going to go in my crease so this is a wee bit darker than the the star part so you just above sort of in the crease but just above it that you actually see it there and we're going to follow it right to the sort of corner so don't worry if you you know mess up a wee bit because the concealer is gonna go in so yeah so we're getting a wee nice wee line like that okay and then what you can do is then 
add a bit more, you know, to really give it that oomph. But again, with liquid lips, take a step at a time. And good thing because by the liquid lips is it can be sort of dragged into place. So you're sort of giving your eye that shape as well. Again, don't worry about any mistakes because they can always be fixed up. Okay, so now we're going to go into the other eye. So again, put a wee bit in the back of my hand. Um, now, warning, the thing I found about his pinks is they're really good, but they can be very like stain. Well, when I say stain, they're just harder to remove. So again, under the crease, and I hope I'm not the only one that makes weird faces when I am doing this. So again, under the crease, and above. So we've got that shape. So now we're going to um. Just darken it up more. So, um, yeah. So we kind of want it to match the other side. Now, they may not look like they match at the minute, but that will be fixed. Um, yeah. So I'm happy with that. So we'll just close that up. And we will go back in, we'll wait till that dries, so we will go in with this, back in with star part, just sort of above it, to sort of make them, um, look nice together. So they kind of blend in, because you don't want that, you know, their star part there's you know the masochist you want them to sort of be all like yeah there's masochist there's star apart but you know they're going into each other so it's all about blending 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 so i'm happy with that now we're going to go back in with our um concealer and we are going to go back in with the wee brush that apparently I've lost. Oh, there we go. So we're just going to coat. And I just, as I, I kind of used a wee bit too much, but just keep on. So if you look up, it kind of helps to give you a bit of shape. So you want to just, because don't forget when you close your eyes, you know, it's going to be, um, you know, seen as well. And this is going to help to pick up when we go in dark glitters. So you can see a wee bit pink there, but helps, helps tidy up. And then just under the pink, um, to help tidy it up to give it that straight line okay um, and as we can see let's just go here so sometimes if you scratch stretch out the skin and lightly trace you will be fine okay now Once we got the concealer done, we're going to move into eyeliner. So I went ahead and just put a wee bit of eyeliner on top of my eyes because it just did not want to work for me. So next, what we're going to do is the process we did above, we're going to repeat down below. So first of all, we're, we've got our wee brush and then we need our wee transition shade again, Courtney. So what you do is you just, just under the eye, just a wee bit of the transition colour 
not too far down. Okay, again, everything can be tidied up. Then what we're just we're going to get star power, and just under the eye. You know, starting again using your setting spray if you want, just for that um, intensity. Okay, just keep on. Building up. Okay, just keep on. Okay, for now. So we've got under our eyes done. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to um, put a wee bit of sparkle onto our lids so i'm using the belly pierre and shade excite now i absolutely love this it's like a powder like a pigment so i'm going to take just a wee small brush like this and all you have to do is just put in starting off small and just set it on your lid look. and the best thing about this is you can actually move it about without the pigment sort of, you know, getting lost. So we're just going to, for now, put on our lid. And um, giving us the shape as well. And it just helps to make that lid sort of help make it boom. Because I can imagine if it did all pink, it would just be quite sort of boring, but lost so again on to now don't worry if you get it on the eyeliner and then you know it's kind of like I'll show you when I put on the back of my hand it sort of does wipe down you know the more you rub at it so that's it and then we're going to just take a wee bit and under our wing just to help give it that magic look so here you may actually want to if you desire what i'm doing is make a wee bit more attention just to stand out and you will see what we're going to do next so that's that so always make sure you put the lids on them because you do not want to go everywhere because it'll be a nightmare so we're going to take, this is just a wee revolution felt tip eyeliner, double ended, which is good. And then we're just going to do our wee wing. Okay, so you just close your eye and you sort of follow in small stages, sort of up the way, or well, whatever way you desire, and you just sort of Gradually trace it into your bottom lash as if they're all born together. And I don't mean small, small stage because I do find with eyeliner it it's very messy, you know. And if you need to wipe it off, because it's black, black's very hard to get off. That you end up near taking everything off with it. And what you're going to do is, you're just going to see your waterline. I like doing this. Sort of truth in. Now, being careful, because sometimes what can happen is when you blink running, it can either ricochet it off and it ends up on the lid. And then into your eyelashes. To give it that darkness. And then into your wee water ducts. And if you want, on the outside, just to help. Okay, and go over it a couple of times because sometimes your eyelash may stop <laughs> giving it the full intensity that you desire and then what you can do is you let this dry while we work on the other eye so it 
again up the way. So I find sometimes it's with the thing with wing is in there take forever to do and we end up hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. Um so unfortunately this one does not want to play ball today, so what you can do is just keep on making them, oh, just keep on sort of keep on building on it that somehow it does look like even. Because it is just a lot of trial and error. So it's all about just sort of playing about and hopefully it works. Not forgetting to sort of help fix the top of your eye because you want it all to sort of be of a similar shape but you don't want to stick it out a weird, you know different so I'll just take this one out a wee bit more and thicken it up and go on to this again into your water line um, your eyes may have water, but this is normal. Um, and your water duct. So they just did. So we've got them sort of even. Okay, and now what we're going to do is take the wee thing we used for our pigment and just Give it a wee dust off into a shape. You know, just around. If you need to pick up more, pick up more. You know, just play a bite with makeup. You know, there's no real right, wrong way. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, good creations can come from mistakes. So, you know, just to help pop. You know, the eyeliner really does help so much, so we want to even fix up here. Always sort of go in between, you know, big mirrors, wee mirrors, because big mirrors are good, you know, for the full effect, and then sort of wee, wee handhelds, you know, good to get right up in there. So I'm happy with this, and don't forget to put your lid back on. There it is. Now, so I'm happy with that. So now what we're going to do is... If we just get our wee foundation thing again and because sometimes you may find you end up transporting half the stuff around you. So now we are going to highlight and contour. So the um so I just use again the concealer, the Max La cover up, and I use a bigger sort of concealer brush. Car daily, just you know, for the side. So, again, oh, some on the back of your hand. Don't be afraid if you get a wee bit too much because you're going to sort of line. So, you go from the top, just where the eyebrow is, following your pigment under your eye, down the side of the nose, just basically, you know, where your cheekbone is, just on top of it. And um, don't worry, you know, if it's thick because you're going to. Beat this down with a bit better down under your nose to sort of help bring your nose and your cupid bow. Don't be afraid to take a little bit more because you want it sort of a brighter color. Because highlight color, brighter colors help bring things out, darker colors help to sort of sink them in. Um, 
but I'm no Kim Kardashian, but we can give it a go. So we can, um, down the side of the nose, underneath, up the chicken. Don't be afraid, you know, to use more if you need to, because, you know, is beat it down. So sort of try to get a kind of shape, similar shape either side, under the eye. Okay. Now, on the forehead, I just do a sort of, a wee cross, you know, um, and then I oh, need a wee bit more, so we are going to down the bridge of the nose. So I just set a wee bit on and just even use your finger just to get that. So, what this got to do is sort of help bring out your bridge Oops. Right just above here. So, sort of even like do a shape because don't worry, this will all be beauty blended. So, that's our highlight done. So you just get a wee beauty blender and beat. And don't worry if it looks a wee bit messy because um, we are going to powder, which is called bacon, which is very popular now. Um, and it helps just to sort of make your makeup look a bit more flawless. Don't worry, I can calm and tidy it up again. And on your coupe So, I get my True Solution Powder, which is apparently, oh here it is. Um, I use a Lottie London, Ready, Set, Go, in warm translucent. So, if I do, when I do drag, I like to make a bit more wider looking. But for natural, I just like normal. So, I just get a wee tiny sponge. Not much left. And I just sort of keep Dip and press and dip and press and you want dab emotions and that just helps to fill any wee gaps, sometimes lines and stuff and I find it helps so much to forget the bridge your nose. So I just use the tip for the bridge your nose and that just and try to as much as you can get some kind of shape because it does change of we does have a wee that wee bit more of a different colour. It's not bad. So again, don't be afraid to down the bridge your nose. And we can always come back. This just helps. Um, so you want to leave that on for a few, just the time you get this on. And then you put the lid on. The part that gets everywhere, unfortunately. And I just grab a big brush. Doesn't, don't even know what one is so it's a wee bit firm and I just go in circles all over my face underneath I just sort of give it like a swept moment so what this does is any sort of powder on on the bait on the surface sort of flips it out that it's not going to be looking um, very no powdery okay and just you know end each other and you can see a wee bit of difference, but it's actually going to be the contour that helps to eliminate. So I'm going to take um, Urban Decay Naked Skin. Now I love this palette. And um, you've got your powders on one side, creams on another. So I'm just going to use the powders today. So you've sort of got different, that's kind of like a highlight. And that's like a wee shimmer. Oh, shimmery. Oh, and a shimmery. Right, so I just get a normal contour and brush. So I use this one. Slanted, it's angled. And I'm going to dip into the furthest one over here that's sort of darker, sort of more warm toned looking. And I'm just going to start off the top here, corner of your hair, and just under your cheekbone. And you don't want to go too heavy because there's, you know, drag queens, it's fine because obviously. You know that I'm, you know, but if you want subtle, just with contouring, start off small and eventually um, build it up. So as you can see, it's starting to warm up the cheeks a wee bit. So 
as I said, because of beard, usually what you can do is you can do it underneath so to give yourself a jawline. They say like a number three. So I'm just going to go on number half three. It's half three. So just uh, warm yourself up a bit. Just helps to give a bit of shape. And again, down, just go backwards and forwards. And into the hairline. So if you have a big, if you have a big forehead, you'd contour to sort of make it look smaller. <coughs> So I don't have that big of a forehead, so I just do a wee bit at the top, just, you know, and just don't be afraid to keep on sort of fluffing it, just, because uh, there's nothing worse than someone's contour looking very harsh. Looks like someone's just took a big lingo. Okay, so that's that wee bit. Now we're going to take a wee smaller, firm flat brush could go to our wee nose contour so we can just take a wee smudger brush, uh, brush care daily and dip into that colour and you're sort of just going to go down the side of your nose now it is going to look harsh to start off with but you're doing your outline and the purpose of this is to make your nose look more shaped see i'm fortunate i have a very like um how would you sort of say fat nose <laughs> so this just helps to and then it's like a wee buffer so i just find just up and down because you don't want to move the product across or anything you just want up and down that you don't look like you have a very harsh nose line so up and down and i'll help take a wee bit away of the product and like you're still going to see it but and just get a wee bit of the powder and just to help because sometimes you can cross over and just keep playing about with it and don't give it underneath and then up sort of into your eyebrows um, now there's many times I've contoured my nose and looked like I've got a crooked nose, a broke nose but I just with anything it does just sort of take practice so what I then do is the foundation no more product I sort of just twirl it sort of end everything sort of mix everything that it looks like it blends into each other so that's my nose my contour now we're going to go to the highlight now I got this so I will hopefully do a review on this soon but I got the Jeffree Star Platinum Ice uh, Pro palette, you can get this one, and the other one is can't even mind the name of it, but it's some more for warm tone, so it's more cool toned. So you've got loads of pretty colors. So we're going to take a, a fan brush and we're going to go. I love, we'll try Alien, Alien Ice, this shade here. So just take a wee bit on your fan brush and just dust the top of your cheeks oh girl actually I will use we'll go with this with yoke just no we'll use a bigger one um I did have one there it is so this one it's just uh, fan brush is okay if you want a wee gentle highlight so that just helps till Sort of down the side and down the cheek, so sort of on the cheekbone, and then and you want to make sure it's blank because sometimes just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Because you know, if you look at the light, you know, you can kind of see it starting to pop up, and it just gives you that wee extra dimension. And you can put a wee bit on your nose and your forehead and if you get a, a smaller brush and you want to maybe do a wee bit in your under your eyebrow okay so one eyebrow two and what we're going to do is we're going to spray just a wee bit of satin spray onto on it okay and we're going to 
step and again I'm just under sort of tear ducts in here and sort of circle them almost to give a soft open our eyes a wee bit more and under and under and what we're going to do is get the eyeliner again um, and we're just going to draw sort of One. Now, try to get as close. One and two, and just fix any any wee bits and bobs. So I wanna maybe darken that a bit and line that a bit more. Now, lips. So we're going to take our masochist, um, and I like to usually like to start with a lip liner, just to help to prevent the bleed. Um, bleed means basically to stop the lip sort of misshaping and leaking out. So this pen is from Barry M. I think they're three pounds so home, but quite handy. So. Get a wee small compact mirror and you're going to start from the top and sort of grad stages. And don't and make sure you really highlight these. Like don't worry too much if it's a different shape because you can always fix it. You know, it's good to get a rough shape, rough lip on. So I use the big mirror. So just follow your lip. So they be. If and die, dip again. And keep, you know, going like that just to sort of evenly distribute it. Now, I never understand why, but I always end up with like a weird looking lip down here so um i if you want to touch up wee bits just get your lip liner because it's our control And then what you can also do is get a different brush and um, maybe a more finer one like this. A bit of concealer. Not too much. Flat, 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 flat. And just follow your lips and this helps tidy it up. And this just help, sort of helps to give it that shape. Again, if you just get a wee grab of this, to just... Does take a wee bit of 
time, patience, and a, a prayer. So that's the lips done, base is done, so now all that's left is setting spray and what I love about setting spray is obviously it sets your makeup but it just refreshes you so this is a nice wee finished look Um, thank you for joining me and until next time